Good afternoon and welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at market site is Garrick Stavrovich. He runs NASDAQ Fund Network. And in an earlier Trade Talks segment, we had Belly McCann, she's a Wall Street Journal contributor, speaking with us about CITs. And one of the problems that they have is the lack of a trading symbol. So, Garrick, can, did NASDAQ Fund Network help here as regards to CIT? Yes, we believe we can. We, uh, the NASDAQ Funds Network is a listing and pricing service, and it covers a variety of asset classes today. And in March of this year, we launched the ability to list collective investment trusts, which Bailey is referring to. And we believe it's a great service, and the customers could take advantage of it, issuers and their relative custodians and pricing agents. So, so you've done it. Well, it's it's. I'd like to say yes and right. you know, be done with it, but there's a lot of hard work. We need to get people educated on the process, make sure that they're comfortable with the information provided. Uh, we see this as a transparency play. This isn't necessarily a marketing and deployment of an asset. It's really just saying how you're doing and getting your message out to your investors so that they find out how their relative performance is. So with the acquisition of investment, have you seen the potential synergies when it comes to collective investment uh, trusts? Yeah, absolutely. So the collect, uh, collective investment trusts have been a strategy listed and you know, provided via the invest, investment platform. Uh, early on in the uh, due diligence process, we realized there would be a great benefit and synergy with uh, the two products. So we've reached out and we're working with those issuers now that provide data to the investment platform. We're working with them to get them educated on the NASDAQ fund network and working to see if they would want to take advantage of that listing and getting that ticker for their their investable uh, CITs. So now what happens after they list? So it's a very rel it's a relatively straightforward process. Most CIT issuers are also uh, existing customers of the NASDAQ fund network, mm -hmm. either through a mutual fund or other investment type product. Uh, so the agreement is done. So that's the good thing. Uh, after that, it's an application, which is very straightforward. They basically tell us the name and a few relevant data points, and we go about our day, and we provide that service back to them, where them or their issuer can then price the uh, report their relative performance or yield or whatever they right. uh, communicate to their investors. So does it take a long time to go from nothing to being listed on NFN? Not really. I mean, we've had, it's a minimum a day, uh, but that's really it. A maximum it would be about five days. So oh. we're really quick with this. Um, and the service is the same service that's running the mutual fund uh, listing and pricing service. So we're able to get these tickers out uh, to the wider distribution place, right? So it's clearly not on the uh, index side. It's looking at products that are lacking in performance transparency. Mm -hmm. uh, the non-traded REIT space is at an all-time boom with the real estate markets now picking up again, um, commercial real estate, that is. And we're at the end of last year, we introduced the ability to list interval funds and BDCs, uh, business development corporations right. that uh, allow certain investment uh, opportunities for issuers as well as investors to gain a better insight or better performance than other traditional assets. All right, and to wrap it up, how do you think this is going to further enable the execution of global data products? So within the global data product uh, arena, we're looking at data, obviously, mm -hmm. but in this case, it's a give-get model. So issuers give us data, we then disseminate that data. We work to partner with the issuers, like your um, Black Rocks of the world, to find out what their data needs are, to then provide a solution on how they can provide more data to the investing world. We then work with the market data vendors on the outbound side to see what data needs they need. So if it's a uh, service that needs to be accredited investors only, we work with them on how best to identify those assets such that they display it in the correct manner so they're not, they're not getting any hot water and that the viewers of that data know what they're looking at. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me at Market Site, and thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.